one more, one yeah, more yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. So, in the um, if uh, as I said, I don't know if you can see this on a physical level as we can sense I the see. energy involved. All right. Well, we it, see it as an intricate, interwoven web of patterns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in in as I see it in a physical mm -hmm. in a physical form in its physical form. Yes. It is very close approximation of a 3D rendering of the object known as a vesica Pisces, the yes. intersection yes. of two circles. Yes. I've theorized that if it were a more perfect um, rendering of that, it would, ev it would increase its, let's say, efficiency, potentiality. Your theory is correct. I see. Although there are variations depending upon the different dimensions that such a device may choose to inhabit. Uh, can you please clarify that? Your dimension, in that sense, will look at the Vesica Pisces in a certain way, but in other dimensions, it will be of a slightly different shape, although to them it will appear to be normal, but to you it would appear to be distorted. I see. Because of the dimensional vibrational difference. I see. Nevertheless, it is the change and shift in frequency that represents the distortion that allows the craft to go from one dimension to another. Mm. But you can begin with what you understand to be the perfect ratio for your reality. Mm -hmm. Now, and so in, in that sense, would you still recommend the, that I research um, the same thing that you recommended? The, the, the... I would. Okay. Because it still has to do with resonance, mm -hmm. and there is still much for you to discover in that concept. Use what works. You don't have to use what doesn't. But there are bits of information in there that you will be able to add to what you are doing that will make a difference down the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Does that help you? Uh, that does help me. Thank you. Thank you.